Hello everyone. In this video, we will see simulation for superposition theorem and for that we will consider this circuit. This is the MATLAB window and click on here on Simulink. Create a blank model. We will first of all save our file. All the components are present in this library browser wherein different libraries are present. So we can search in this search box for a for specific component which we will be requiring or instead of that we can simply search here in this workspace by double clicking. So let us start building our circuit diagram. We will require a DC voltage source. We will take all the components, most of the components which are present in this specialized power system library. So I will show where this library is present. Just go inside Simscape, then electrical. Here you will find this specialized power system library. Let us change the parameter of this DC voltage source as 50 volt. Take series RLC branch, double click on it and change the branch type as a resistive. We will consider a resistance of 10 ohms. Now connect this 10 ohm resistor to this DC voltage source. Now few more resistors are required. So for that you can search the series RLC branch and specify the re required value or otherwise you can just copy this resist series RLC branch and make the changes according to the circuit diagram. So for copying this series RLC branch, press the control key and drag this block. Now we have to rotate this series RLC branch. So for rotating you have to First select this particular branch and then press Ctrl and R key. So by pressing Ctrl and R you can rotate a particular block. Now let us take current measurement block with the help of which we will be measuring the current which is flowing through this branch. Let us take this resistance value as 30 ohms. And this resistance as 20 ohms. Take another DC voltage source and connect it according to the circuit diagram. Let us take the amplitude of this DC voltage source as 20 volts. Now take a display block and connect it to the output of this current measurement block. Now we will take a power guy block. So this block is required for simulation of these components. Now save all the changes. We will consider stop time as one second and run the simulation. So as you can observe here, the current which is flowing through this branch is 1.091 ampere. Now we will consider each individual voltage source at a time and check whether the total current which is flowing through this branch we are get whether we are able to get this particular value of current or not. Now I, I will make two copies of this circuit diagram. So for that just select entire circuit diagram. For copying it press control key and 
drag the entire circuit diagram. Similarly, you can make another copy. Now in this first circuit, we will consider this 50 volt source and replace this 20 volt DC voltage source with short circuit. And in this second circuit, we will consider 20 voltage source and replace this 50 voltage source DC voltage source with short circuit. Now save all the changes and run the simulation again. Now here you can observe current which is flowing because of individual voltage source. Now let us add these currents from both the circuits. So for that take the sum block. So this is the summation block and to this we have connected the output of current measurement block of this both the circuits. Now take another display block. Save all the changes and run the simulation. So as you can see here, the current which we have obtained by considering individual voltage source is same as that of this first circuit. So in this way, we have seen the verification of superposition theorem. And also you can check the link in the description box regarding this course. Thank you.